last time you were on, you gave us a presentation. Yeah. Uh, you gave us a name that was in the blue quadrant that was rising. P H I A. And anybody who bought that should be literally kissing you right now because <laughs> yeah, it's done yeah. very very well. P H I A. Yeah. Do you uh, remember this pick from last yeah, time yeah. You were with us? Oh yeah. Look at that chart. I mean, that's everything that we do here, folks. I yeah. think that was Actually. the report around somewhere here. Or... I think, uh, yeah. So I mean, I don't know the... how it looks on your relative rotation study now, but that thing performed perfectly. <laughs> So then we come to the sector rotation. And this is what I uh, like mainly watch. Here we have the asset allocation model. And here you see, okay, which, which assets are currently interesting. And you see that the uh, SMP is the only asset which is in the leading quadrant. And this is measured against the benchmark VBINX. Uh, that is a Vanguard balance index fund, which is um, is 60-40 uh, ETF, so 60% equities, 40% bonds, what should represent the uh, broader market. And you see that the S&P is outperforming the rest of the market. And uh, which assets are currently not so interesting or maybe shortable are the bonds like the HUC, like the high yield uh, bonds, GOVD, the government bonds, and uh, LQD, uh, right, Brian, you mentioned that before, that are the corporate bonds. Where are, they, where are all those on your chart? Can you put your mouse over them? Oh, yeah. 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 What do you think? That, is, that the, is that bad? <laughs> hmm. Or is yeah, that good? That is, um, so if the bond's coming down. Yeah, like it's in that lower left-hand box. Is that a bad uh, part of the market? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is generally um, not so good sign. Yeah. Uh, interesting. And yeah. you want to you want to focus in on the blue guys, right? Yeah, what I like to trade or where I have my trading signals is when I see uh, an asset coming from the lagging quadrant into the improving and the best like this one here with high momentum and on a 45 degree or yeah, uh, with the direction to the leading. Yeah, it'd be interesting quadrant. to see where all the semiconductors and stuff fall on that. Do you have SMH in that uh, in that study? Um, SMH. Yeah, that's the oh, but, semiconductor trust. Yeah, but we 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 can have a, a look live in into the rotation model. Like what I would be really curious is to see because uh, last time you were on, you gave us a presentation. Yeah. Uh, you gave us a name that was in the blue quadrant that was rising. P H I A, and anybody who bought that should be literally kissing you right now because <laughs> uh, it's done very very well okay so uh let me quickly check p-h-i-a yeah do you uh, remember that, this pick from last yeah, time yeah. with us oh yeah look at that chart i mean that's everything that we do here folks yeah that beautiful w i yeah. think that was the report around somewhere here or yeah somewhere. I think, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how it looks on your relative rotation study now, but that thing performed perfectly. Yeah. Pretty chart. Yeah, nice. You could do like a fog and bomb off of that bottom. And it's quite shocking to see how that fog and bomb uh, lined up really nicely with this recent rally. So, uh, let's uh, reverse this. The market's like basically sitting right at foggy. Well, 0.667. I did it 2.618. That's probably the best place to start. 2.618. Yeah. So and here we go. Lo and behold, look where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you could uh sitting on you could adjust the bottom of your fog and bomb study down to the low. Uh yeah, that low there. Is that yeah. where it is? I can't see. Yeah, it is here on the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh what a surprise. We're just we're I mean, if you had used the relative rotation uh, chart and then you had drawn your fog and bombs off of that beautiful weekly W, basically mm. this called the level that we're at perfectly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally nice. couldn't have done it any better. You see uh, how much we can do with the relative rotation graph and um, 
What I just quickly wanted to show is that if we are now coming to a top of the market or how I use the rotation graph is also not only that I'm looking and here you can come uh, go back and forth in the um, in the history here of the of the um, sectors and that I look okay since when for example XLU is turning around or XLY came into the leading quadrant. Uh, what I'm currently looking is if I think that we are topping out on the market or if we are overbought probably, then I can also go into the single sector. And for example, if I take uh, the discretionary sector, I can now look for assets. I mean, the discretionary sector, like you saw, is coming into the leading quadrant. Now I have the opportunity to look, okay, which are lagging in the slowly leading sector and which single assets or instruments are now gaining in momentum and that yeah. is for yeah so so which uh, are those those two blue ones those are the be what does that say yeah so H C L H is that what that says no N C L H N C L H let's see what the hell that is that is Norwegian cruise line oh god damn because have you seen what CCL's done recently? Yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> and Adam took the trade, son of a bitch. Yeah, so look at that. Jesus H. Christ. So there you go. This is exactly like his PHIA, folks. Yeah. Because if you so, look at uh, if you look at CCL and Adam, if you're around, nice, nicely done. He fucking killed it. Look at that damn chart. Jesus H. Christ. A nice W here. And yeah. Look at that. Me... That's the most beautiful inverted head and shoulders. I mean, Jesus, that thing looks incredible. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, nice. Uh, but yeah. interesting how your chart, the relative rotation, same logic. So yeah. uh, it likes the Norwegian cruise lines. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So some are overdone already, but uh, there are probably maybe other ones. Which yeah, we can but that's a, it's overdone on the daily chart. But you look at the weekly chart, and this thing looks like it's just getting going. So oh, yes. hopefully, you guys can see how this works. You know, really, what you want to do is you want to concentrate on the ones that are cranking out of that red box and heading into that blue box. I think. Um, yeah, th that are the best ones. But here now, of course, it is a weekly. I can go on a daily chart, for example. And I looked a little bit into all these ones, and you see one is uh, really falling off the cliff. Which one is that? Uh, AAP. So uh, that is something I would uh, check mark here because it is um, disturbing my view here. But on a daily basis, for example, VFC, let's have a look on. And this is also something uh, one I found, uh, VHR, uh, WHR, Whirlpool Corporation. Okay. Whoa, look at that W. Damn, stone cold. VHR, yeah, that is a whirlpool. That is a nice big daily W. It has some gaps here. What what concerns me a little bit that Joshua is sitting here with a sniper and waiting for his fill. <laughs> What's but, so cool though is if you pull up the weekly chart, you can see there's big holes on the chart right at four six six nine. If you do a fog and bomb off of this uh, this weekly W, of this one here. Yeah. So look at those gaps up there. Yeah. yeah. See that right up there? Look at those holes in the chart up there. Yeah. I mean, damn, stone cold. Little and uh, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but this son of a bitch put in an outside upside key reversal. Yeah, a few weeks ago. Key reversal, but it's a wicked engulfing bar there back on the, uh, what is that? That's the 10th of April. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Good looking stock. Yeah. I mean, gee whiz. So right off. And what's interesting is if you change that to a log chart, I bet you it looks even better. You know, like you could draw a trend line off of those top, right off of that top. And I bet you the trend line lines up with that 4669 level. Oh, yeah. Look at that perfectly. No. Well, not off, off, yeah, off this that market. There you go. Right there. Yeah. Do it. Off. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Son of and, what, so like what, little, and actually that other trend line that you drew was even cooler. So you got that one. Leave that one on there. Yeah. Uh, so ooh, look at that. Yeah, ooh, around nice. here. Now you're be. just showing off. All right. You're yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> but this would be a really good bull call spread trade, right? And then if you could do uh, another trend line, uh, like you did the first one, uh, I think we've broken that uh, that downtrend, and we might I think we we're putting in a W on the other side of the trend line. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you.